What type of art has survived the longest? In addition to the fact that street art evolved from cave carvings and that film is just 140 years old, musical trends come and go. However, there is one ancient art form that emerged independently in numerous regions of the globe during prehistoric times and, while maintaining its traditions, grew into a multi-billion dollar industry by the 21 century. It is the tattooing craft. Presented by AWZ. According to some sources, tattooing is a fairly distinctive, one-of-a-kind type of art that dates back to the Neolithic era, making it at least 12,000 years old. It is a universal art form that existed on its own in almost all ancient civilizations worldwide. Evidently, this urge to make a transient imprint marking a significant occasion and, of course, to be able to flaunt it has long been among humans. A bull and a Barbary sheep are shown on the upper right arm of an ancient Egyptian mummy that is on display at the British Museum and is thought to be over 5,000 years old. When using a pre-dynastic bow and arrow as your only weapon, killing or even catching a Barbary sheep was by no means an easy achievement. Those are unmistakably the insignia of an elite Egyptian hunter. An individual getting a tattoo is already a member of a club because it is a painful process. Ancient people's tattoos used to primarily signify coming of age, membership in a certain group, spiritual power, or a regal rank. The images were inscribed beneath the skin using crude instruments like thorns and shards of bone, and they were always influenced by their local surroundings. The technique was much more spiritually significant because those tools, together with the ink, were a component of the surroundings. Tata, which alludes to the light strokes of a wooden tool used to implant color under the skin, literally means to strike in Samoan. Samoan men and women historically covered their bodies from the waist down to their knees with symmetrical patterns that portrayed creatures like seagulls and centipedes to symbolize the cohesive power of the tribe. The painful and drawn-out procedure of getting a tattoo was also considered to be a rite of passage. Samoans referred to their tribesmen without tattoos as being naked. Unfinished tattoos were a mark of shame for those who started the process but couldn't finish it. Before Captain James Cook's arrival in Tahiti in 1769, Samoan tattooing and other comparable Polynesian practices had continued unbroken for generations. Cook wrote about what the natives called Tato in his notebook. This name later became well-known worldwide. After Cook, successive waves of invaders seized control of the islands, outlawed tattooing by natives, essentially depriving them of their identities and obliterating their cultures, all of which facilitated colonization. Although tattoos had been unknown to Europeans for a few thousand years at the time, this does not imply that the art had never been practiced there. A 5,300-year-old mummy named C. the Iceman was found in northern Italy and possesses at least 61 tattoos. With the arrival and growth of the Abrahamic religions, which all considered tattoos as a degradation of the body and remnants of paganism, Europe's tattoo culture came to an end. Leviticus 19 verse 28, I am the Lord, you must not make any cuts on your flesh for the dead, nor shall you print any marks upon you. Tattoos were welcomed by individuals who lived there after being forced into the subterranean. Many criminals, outcasts, and freaks willingly and voluntarily tattooed their bodies, while others were compelled to do so. Face tattoos applied under duress in many different cultures around the world served as a warning sign for criminal activity or slave emancipation. When tribe members were transported as slaves across the Atlantic, their faces were forcibly marked to identify them in case they escaped or were set free. Tattoos serve as a bitter memory for ex-Auschwitz inmates to this day, and current sex traffickers and pimps frequently tattoo their names over the chests of their victims. The tattoo industry was essentially launched in 1981 with the painting of the first tattoo machine, which allowed people to quickly cover enormous areas of their bodies. At the time, sailors in the United States were already very popular for getting tattoos, and many of them continued to do so with the goal of becoming tattoo attractions and touring circuses. However, 
Persons who were dangerous and outside of society, prisoners, gang members, motorcyclists, etc., were strongly connected with tattoos. When tattoos started to appear in glitzy magazines in the 1970s, everything started to change. The ancient practice of tattooing returns to fashion was the title of an article published in Life magazine in 1972. Then, MTV was founded in 1981. The channel had a significant impact on a wide range of companies, but it also managed to entirely alter the perception of the typical tattooed person. They were rock stars now, they were no longer marginals. Then, in 2010, Instagram was launched, which is probably one of the key moments in the development of the tattoo industry. Since then, the number of people with tattoos has virtually tripled in the United States alone. Additionally, it raised the level of competition, thereby pressuring artists to advance and create at a never-before-seen pace. Many artists, singers, actors, and even elected leaders can be spotted with tattoos these days. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has been pictured with one on his shoulder. Tattoos are no longer connected with gangs and criminals in the majority of Western nations, however the situation varies slightly in other regions. As an illustration, tattoos are prohibited on TV in China, 50% of public pools and spas in Japan, and young men cannot enlist in the military in the United Arab Emirates if they have ink. This did not stop the Chinese tattoo market from expanding by 390% in 2015. The tattoo market is thought to be worth over $60 billion globally, and it is expanding by double digits every single year. This is partly related to the fact that millennials, who are driving the trend, prefer pricey personalized work over less expensive images from catalogs, as well as to tattoos rising popularity. Additionally, those who have at least one tattoo are very likely to have another one in the future. Undoubtedly, the sector is flourishing, but what's intriguing is that a sizable portion of the $60 million comes from tattoo removals. The market for tattoo removal was valued more than $11 billion in 2016. By 2023, it is expected to reach $27 million. It comes as no surprise that the top three countries in this area are India, Japan, and the United States. One of the major new trends in the industry, according to Mikhail Fiore, a tattoo artist from Brooklyn, New York, who works out of New York Heart and Dagger, is advancements in tattoo removal. It's difficult to pin down the most popular tattoo trends nowadays. They might range from realism-assisted family portraits to tattoos that are precise replicas of ancient Samoan designs. Even tattoo collectors regard their tattoos as carefully curated collections created by several artists in as many different styles as they can, rather than just as individual pieces. Nowadays, practically every major city on the planet hosts a tattoo convention, which shows how well represented the tattoo industry is. The culture is covered or showcased in photo books, publications, websites, YouTube channels, movies, articles, and installations. Due to the proliferation of so-called mumble rappers, even face tattoos have recently gained some degree of acceptance. Due to the increased competition brought on by all of this exposure, artists are continuously looking for new ways to create, which results in a massive inflow of specialized products entering the market. Tattoo equipment, ink, stencils, and even custom chairs made just for tattooing are all big business. But it doesn't end there. Recently, tattoos have developed into a tool for correcting the effects of surgeries and prior errors. The tattoo industry is also incorporating technology. Now that augmented reality compatible tattoo ink that can come to life on your smartphone screen is available, glow in the dark ink is a thing of the past. However, there is still a lot more to come. A team of French design students modified a 3D printer by swapping out its resin extruder for a tattoo needle. The outcome was fascinating, a flawless circle was instantly tattooed on one team member's arm. This is why people find tattoos so intriguing. As old as the earliest civilizations is a torturous ritual that serves as a rite of passage, a means of identifying, a way of remembering significant life events, and more. 
The oldest art form in the world is currently improving people's lives and inspiring new, potentially game-changing technologies. Clearly, tattoos have a propensity to endure, both on a person's body and throughout human history. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell your friends about it so we can make more like it. Click the subscribe button to see more content like this and don't forget to activate the notification bell. Check watch our other videos as well if you haven't already. Thank you for viewing.